Hi guys, welcome to PowerPoint Glamour. Today let's see how to make this SWOT analysis diagram. So please stay tuned. So let's start on uh, sort of blank slide. And the first thing that you need to do is insert a rectangle here in this fashion. So actually we need four of these. So let's start with one first. So insert this rectangle, fill it with this color. Okay, place it here. And then you need to insert a text box and then type in the letter S and increase the font size. Put it here. Okay. And let's make it bolder. Change the color by dropping it and then make it bold. So move this letter, place it on top of this rectangle. All right, place it here. Duplicate this letter. We'll let you know why do you want to duplicate this in a moment. Then go to Merge Shapes and say Subtract. So after subtracting, the letter disappears. That's why we had duplicated this earlier so that we can put this back in the place from where we had subtracted. Okay, now we need for three to four smaller squares you just place it here for some design so let's rearrange and paste those four squares one above the other here Okay, after that you can go in and insert a text box and type in strengths here. It can be white. Then insert another rectangle, the same size. Let's change the color to this. Duplicate this text box, put it here. Now this needs to be a W. Okay, just increase the size a little. All right, select the W and change the color. This is the eye dropper, same green color. Okay, the color of the W is changed. Now duplicate the W and keep it aside. Select the rectangle and then the letter. Go to the format and then subtract. Now the same way, put the W on top of this. So S and W are done, so that's how you do it. Uh, go ahead and insert a couple of rectangles more. Just follow the same process that we have done for S and W. So let's do it for O and T as well. So we have placed two rectangles, we have changed the colors, 
then we duplicate the text box with the letter we change it to a o and a t okay the shapes are of the same colors so duplicate the letter and then select the rectangle first the rectangle and then the letter then go to merge shapes and subtract okay do the same thing for t 